No, 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 no. Playing Quagma. What's up, YouTube? It is Mick to the Wood here with another tutorial video. Uh, today we got Crota hard mode again. Uh, if you notice in my last video, I gave you a tutorial on how to beat Crota. Um, that strategy is good. It still works, but this is a, a little bit of a new strategy. Still requires at least one Titan, uh, preferably two. You can do it with one. No, I think this game we did it with one. Uh, basically, what we're doing here in the beginning is uh, you get your ammo low. Uh, this is the rocket launcher glitch kind of thing. It's not really a glitch. It's just filling up your ammo. What you want to do is have your icebreaker secondary, get your primary to low, uh, and then you want to wipe your ammo uh, right as the gates open up for all the uh, acolytes and the knights to the side. So basically, look at my clip. I'll have three, two, one. I got zero bullets, and then when the bridge goes, uh, when the wall goes down, you want to shoot the Acolytes with rocket launchers, and heavy ammo will drop from them. Uh, you got to do this quickly, so if you notice there, I got three rockets. Uh, it automatically picks up uh, what ammo is on the floor. So I got three rockets. Uh, my team fills up the rockets. This is just saving us in case we don't have heavy synth. I think I have two left in this game. But anyways, um, this strategy is going to be... Oh, look, a nice uh, bounty. Going to level up that raid gear. Oh, yeah. So, what we do here is we have, uh, I think we have two warlocks. Um, it can be two hunters, it can be whoever, anybody with a, with a um, super right here. Uh, I have the titan, so I have my super. Basically, we screwed up there. You want to keep these two knights alive on each side. Get them to very low health. So, you notice we're not going to kill these guys. We just keep them low. Uh, and then what you're going to want to do is have the people with supers. So, either if they're hunters or if they're warlocks with the grenades... You're going to want to have them take out both the hunters, and they're going to create orbs right inside the chamber. Look at all that heavy ammo, by the way. I don't know if you noticed that. That is a lot of heavy ammo. So he's creating these orbs. You want to normally keep them by the window over to the right. Our friend screwed up just a little bit, but it's okay. We still got our orbs. That's in case uh, the Titan runs out of orbs and needs to run inside quickly, grab some orbs so he has more bubble shields. Because bubble shields are 100% necessity for this part coming up. Um, so basically, we're rounding up our ammo. Uh, also, leave it in the comments if you have already beaten Crota. Let me know if your strategies worked, uh, if this video I posted before worked. Um, let me know if you have any different strategies. Also, if you've gotten the Necrochasm, Crux of Crota, anybody? No? No? Uh, I'm still waiting on mine. <sighs> Fucking Crota. Anyways. Strategy, run straight out the door, immediate right, whole team goes to this ledge right in the center. What this does is prevents boomers from seeing you, and you do not kill boomers, so you don't get the wizard. Immediately, swords on, uh, not swords, snipers on sword bearer. Immediately take down the sword bearer. He's notice his health, he's gone, he's down. Titan, wait for him to pick up the sword. Bam, jump over as he goes invisible, drop that right there. What that does is distracts the boomers from shooting him in the middle. Everybody on on Crota, guy jumps up middle, take down Crota. You see how fast that was? That's one round right there. Hunter's up there with a sword. He's taking him. He's invisible. He, uh, what does? Blink uh, strike or whatever. Then goes for second round. All right. That's, that's, that was the quickest round I've ever seen. Jesus. Immediately, everybody back to this ledge. I go to pick up orbs. They're too far. I can't reach it. So everybody hides behind that wall right there because Crota comes to the right side. I can't hide because I need the orbs for the Titan. So what I do is I... Run. Oh, don't get shot by boomers. Jump, jump. Uh, uh. Okay, I made it. Good. Anyways, I got all this heavy ammo now. I use two rockets. Bam, extra ammo inside. Pick up all these orbs. Look at that. I got my super back now. If you notice, Crota's to the right. Look at our team right there. They're hiding behind that wall so Crota cannot see them. Good point of view. Um, you want to hide, and then one teammate can uh, either wait inside. Oh, uh, I thought Crota was going back. One teammate can wait inside and watch him. Oh, is he going to point at me? Oh, my God. He pointed at me. I feel so special. Nah, he's pointing at everybody. God damn it, I'm not special. Anyways, you want to wait inside, or you can wait by the door, and one teammate, like, uh, where it's splashed to face on screen is, you see that? He can dance against the wall, and then third-person point of view, watch where Crota goes. Uh, we're waiting for Crota to run back, so basically we just sit here, we wait, we wait... Wait, wait. Stop pointing at me, dude. I don't want to dance with you. <laughs> and Crota's going back. So, immediately. Normally, it's just this one guy in here. He's the sword bear. He's going to hide in here. If not, uh, I was in there. 
we immediately run right back to middle and go straight for sword bearer again uh you want to keep an eye out because he comes out while crotus to the right so you got to watch out for where he goes so right now he's hiding he tends to hide a lot so keep an eye out for that so we go for sword bearer we go we go and we snipe him down titan ready and he's running for the sword once he gets close immediately grab it he goes invisible again drop the shield and you're distracting the boomers they're not they don't seem to be bothering us but shoot a rocket and down um just to let you know as a titan you can step out of the bubble really quickly and shoot another rocket just to be a little helpful so bam see what i do and i knock him down he's half quarter and down uh that was a little glitch right there our friend saw him down i don't know what the hell crota was doing but anyways new strategy here we go ogres so normally we go downstairs or we stay on the stairs. You want to get your whole team immediately into this room as fast as possible. Avoiding Thrall, avoiding Curse Thrall, avoiding Crota. You have to get down there very quickly and immediately get up top. So everybody needs to be up top, either to the left or right here where I am. Uh, be careful on the left side. Crota sometimes can see you. But this strategy is to kill the ogre as quick as possible. So right here, what you want to do is look down below and you'll notice ready this ogre is going to spawn right here and down go unload on him you got two people shooting rockets you got people sniping him you got to unload on him and you got to take him out as quick as possible so he doesn't down you and we killed him all right step two other ogre is going to spawn right there all right he's going to heal oh man he's invigorated what the f this guy's angry um next step is to kill the second ogre what you want to gonna do oh, oh i screwed up that rocket come on what you're going to want to do is jump up and rocket him. Uh, if you don't have rockets, you're going to want to kind of peek around and get him with a sniper. Uh, if you notice, we just took him out right there. You saw, saw the glimmer fly up. Uh, here's the next step. you got to watch for Crota. Crota needs to be either back to middle or to the left. So he's back middle right now. Uh, or to the right, I meant. Sorry. Everybody needs to get up quickly. You have to run, jump. Watch out for Curse Thrall and Regular Thrall, and you got to jump. I ran inside because I needed ammo and I needed bubbles. Um... Basically, if Crota's back to middle, you can immediately go right back for Sword Bearer. He is downstairs, probably running around somewhere. I pick up some more ammo. I got all that heavy ammo, and I got bubbles. Here we go. I'm looking around. They're watching for Sword Bearer. Uh, Jonesy is the Sword Bearer, our Sword Bearer here. So we got to be ready. Uh, I think they start sniping him here. What's the strategy? Yeah, they're immediately going straight for the Sword Bearer. So we're taking him out as quick as possible. Everybody's sniping. Sword Bearer's down. They took him out. Now, as a Titan, here we go. Race with him. You gotta time it correctly. And he picks up the sword. You pop a bubble down. You distract those boomers. And Crota can shoot at you. I forgot to mention that. So immediately take him down. Look at him. He's low health. Crota's going right. So we screwed up just a little bit. We're a little behind. So we're gonna get one hit on. And we're gonna get out. Uh, what you wanna do is immediately go back to this wall right here and hide. And what we do is we hide. Um, our friend gets killed by Crota because we didn't go a little too fast. So we just take out Oversoul. Uh, if you have two titans, you can easily just drop two bubbles right where you are. Uh, check out this previous video right here that explains exactly how to survive Oversoul with two titans. So, he self-revived, so we got all six teammates back. We're good. Um, that's the handy thing with Warlocks. We got two of them in this game. And now we're playing the waiting game. All we do is we uh, wait for Crota to go back. So while we're waiting, here's a little bit of uh, music. Okay, I'm done. So, keep an eye out for where Sword Bearer goes. He usually comes out. Um, I can't see him at the moment, but I think he's behind that rock. Crota goes back, and now we're looking for Sword Bearer. He looks like, he, yeah, he's right there hiding. Immediately, unload on him. Everybody go, everybody go. And I don't have a bubble at this moment, so we gotta be, we gotta be very careful here. I told him. Like, we don't have a bubble. So if he jumps up middles, boomers won't look at him. So, unload on him. Primaries first. People with rockets ready. He picks up the sword. He's going right. And we are ready to down Crota now. As he jumps up, we drop our rocket. We go. I have no rocket, so I need to pop a heavy synth because Enrage is happening right now. So pop the heavy synth. Reload. Wait for him. Do Normally, people shoot right away. You got to wait. He's immune. Now you unload. You got to count to four seconds. Unload on him. And he's down. And the sword bearer goes, and bam, I get the new helmet, and I get eight radiant, eight radiant shards. Oh my god, I didn't even notice that. That is a good amount of shards. Whew, I'm happy with that. 
Uh, that is my second helmet. Uh, I did not get the Crux of Coda, unfortunately. I'm going to try again. I got two more characters. So I got a Warlock 31, about to be 32, and a Titan 31, about to be 32. So those are my characters. Um, what am I looking for here? I'm checking out my helmets. I got a new helmet with strength. Unfortunately, I don't like the strength. I like discipline and uh, intellect. So we're going to keep that same helmet we have on. So, everybody, that's my video. Thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe, like, comment. Uh, share this video with your friends. Uh, check out last week's videos of uh, beating Crota. I got Titans, how to Glimmer Farm. Uh, I have a link right here to my Titan Bubble Shield, how to survive over soul. Um, but yeah, that's it. Make to the without. Peace. No, 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 no. Lynn Fragma, you're dead. <laughs>